Welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm your host, Jim Dempsey. Welcome everyone, here we are heading into November and it's getting closer and closer to year end. It's hard to believe that we are getting into November, it'll be Thanksgiving here in a few weeks and then we really hit the ground running even harder that last month of the year. And just a reminder that our last week of the year is still a very good time for us to begin to reach out to people at year end and so just continue to push on and press on with your year end strategy. If you haven't already watched my video on the year end strategy I've linked that above. Also too if you're interested in a year end checklist we've put out on our Life Changers Facebook group if you aren't already a member of our Life Changers group, you're going to get that as a bonus gift by being part of the Life Changers group. If you aren't already a subscriber to this channel, I'd love to have you as part of this community of Life Changers making a difference in people's lives. And I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Well, let's dive into our question for the day. Our question for the day is from Josh in San Diego. And Josh asks, would you do an increase strategy at the end of the year or better to wait until the new year? Trying to figure out how to segment off our list. Well, Josh, thanks. That's a great question. And frankly, I've gotten it more than once uh, over the last couple weeks. Do we as an organization or as individuals or even if you raise your own personal support, do you ask people to increase their current giving or do you focus just on that year-end giving? And Josh, there is no better time of the year to raise money than these last three months of the year. And I would really take advantage of that because I have individuals who help to support and undergird our efforts with our organization. And I have challenged people who give $50 a month to increase throughout the entire year and they don't increase that amount. But at year end, they give $1,000. Now, that probably doesn't make any sense. It doesn't always make sense to me. I don't do math in public, but I know that $50 a month equals $600 over the year. But then at the end of the year, they give $1,000. That doesn't make sense to us, but it makes sense to them, and that's what's important. I don't argue when someone wants to give me $1,000 at the end of the year. So I've found that many people either get bonuses or just the giving spirit, the giving mood takes, them, uh, takes over them at year end, and they want to give a special gift. Thanksgiving really kicks things off. People are in the giving and thanksgiving mood and spirit and then of course at year end when they are so thankful for all the things that have uh, happened and been accomplished over the last year that they give a gift at year end. So I would recommend that you hold off, that you wait. Frankly, I would recommend waiting till about February. We found over the years that January and February tend to be difficult months for giving, just as summer months are giving because people are on vacation. In January or February, people actually will give less because oftentimes they're trying to pay off those credit cards, those bills, maybe some extravagant or over-the-top uh, gifts that they got at Christmas time. And so as a result, they don't give as much. So I would really look at holding off maybe even till March and wait before you ask your partners to increase their giving. If you do that, then you've got the money that you got at year end. And I hope, I hope that, that you've incorporated the strategies that are in my videos, whether that be the year end strategy, matching gift strategy, or even 
making a good phone call. If you've used those strategies, then you really should see a very fruitful and successful year end. If you haven't done all that, I would really highly encourage you to go back and look at that strategy and employ that at year end. But then when you move into February or March, then you can go back to those people and ask if they would consider increasing either their monthly commitment or their annual commitment to you. So Josh, I hope that helped to answer your question. I really, really will be praying and hoping that you have a great year end. As all of you who are watching this broadcast, I really do hope you are incorporating the year end strategy. I put that out there because I want to see you fruitful. I want to see your nonprofit organization achieve its mission. I want to see you become fully funded. So I hope that you're watching and incorporating the year end strategy that I put out there. If you are interested in submitting questions to Jim and Java, go out to Twitter uh, at, and use the hashtag Jim and Java. On Instagram, you can follow me for our really strong and healthy fundraising tips, especially at year end. And you can get to Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. You can always email me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as always, I hope that you will increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.